this is the Boss GX100, and also um, I've attached the Boss Bluetooth Audi Audio MIDI dual adapter. And I want to demonstrate how it connects to an iPad. This is an iPad Generation 6. Out of the box, the Boss GX100 came with firmware 1.9. When I attached the Bluetooth device to it and um, tried to connect, it prompted me to download the latest the latest uh, firmware. So now it's running firmware 1.1. Uh, now you can see when I initiate the Boss app off the iPad, I have to connect to MIDI, Bluetooth. So I choose the GX100 and here it says connected. And down here gives you nice some steps. Step three, we're connected via Bluetooth. Okay and then choose OK. Now it's attempting to connect. I'm on patch crunch lead. Patch 2 whip. Uh, bank 2, patch 2. And we're waiting and waiting for this to connect and it finally connected. <clears throat> now, one of the first things you do when you get your Boss GX100 is set up your input uh, for your input levels for your various guitars. Now, I've already gone in and um, um, assigned my guitars. Now, you can do this off the touch screen, but I am just using the iPad just fine. And um, you can see I've got my Sustainiac, uh, a Nightfly, and this is a, a bass, a Fernando's bass. So I have it on my, I'm playing my Parker Nightfly right now. And I've got my input um, for guitar. And here you can see, you can change it from either guitar or bass. And you can choose your various line input sources. So if you're running a, one of these amps, a tube combo or a katana or a bass amp, tweeter or no tweeter, you can assign it as such. You also have a global EQ edit, which is nice. So all of this is right at your fingertips. Very nice. We're at patch two here, crunch lead bank two. So I wanna show you when I switch to bank uh, or patch one here. You can see the iPad is trying to um, go to lead drive. And it takes a few moments, but now you can see you have lead drive. Now off the GX100, of course we can choose page to get to our uh, FX chain and page over, and then we can choose effects to get to the effects, and then choose the effects palettes, and then we can assign these palettes and move them around via the touch screen. Now off the iPad, I already have the effects chain here, as you can see, and here is the effects palette that I can just scroll through, and if I wanna move this out of the way, delete it, I can. And it asked me if I want to delete this. It's the same on the touch screen here. If I try to delete it, it asks me if I want to delete it. Um, if I wanted to add a space echo at the end of this chain, you can see it just adds. And then if I scroll over, you can see the space echo is here. I can turn it on or turn it off and you can see it's reflected either way. And I can also show the delay I can turn on or off, on or off or on. Okay, 
Um, so that just shows that you have really great if control just via the iPad. It's bigger. I can keep this on the floor and still have complete control over all of the uh, various effects. So if I want to tr control this particular delay, I can go to the delay knob and show the knobs, the different pages. You can look at the depth, time. Now, let's go back over to the beginning of the effects chain and look at the amp and show the knob. And from here, you can see the amp gain level, uh, bass, middle, treble. Um, and then you can choose what kind of uh, stack you wanna use or uh, what kind of amp, transparent, natural, boutique, um, and some of these other stacks. Um, now you can also do that from the touch screen here, but the iPad um, is so user friendly. So you have a phone, a smartphone, you're gonna be used to using this setup. Um, you can download different tones uh, for both bass and guitar even, and which I've already done, and it goes to your library and inside your library, let's look at um, an amp collection here. And we can see, let's say the Juggernaut HB. Now, this should reflect over here, and it did. Um, let's bank back over. It's on Juggernaut. I just can't figure out how to. There we go. It's on Juggernaut. So it is completely connected. That's all I got for this particular demonstration. Um, I watched several videos before I bought this, and you've probably watched several videos on all the effects and some great players showing off. Uh, not only the tones, but they're great techniques. Um, but I didn't see any that really showed the demonstration between the iPad and the Boss GX100 using the Bluetooth adapter. I'm glad I bought the adapter. Um, I'm gonna keep this unit on the floor like I mentioned. Um, I love how you can just drop in a boost I've got a boost clean and I can drop in a chorus into my effects chain, maybe like that. And it's in there. There it is. All right. There's also a app that you can um, download for your uh, desktop called the Boss Tone Studio, and it also connects with the um, Bluetooth MIDI adapter. And I'll demonstrate it that another day. Yep. Thanks for watching.